Welcome back, guys, to another edition of Making Your Hands Better. Like always, we've cut some NHL clips to show you guys what we are working on and why we are working on it. So today we are going to look at our ability to read pucks off of the stick blade. This is so important in a game because our ability and our first movement with our hands must be towards the puck is getting shot. If we end up going in the wrong direction, there's no way that we will be fast enough to catch up, and then we end up making saves going in the wrong direction. Back to Carlson. Oh my goodness! Mark Andre Fleury with one of the most amazing saves I've ever seen. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Making Your Hands Better. We've been doing a lot of non-specific uh, movements and tracking drills, uh, but the most important part about tracking when it comes to hands is our ability to read the stick blade. So for this drill here, we're going to do some uh, specific reading the puck off the stick blade. I got Ryan Guy here to help me today. Ryan's an ex-goalie of mine, and he also helps us coach here. So he's been a good sport, and he's going to be the one going through the drills today. Okay, so for this drill, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have a net. Okay, so you guys can do this at home in your driveway. Just make sure you have a net. So I'm going to have Ryan crouch down behind the net so he doesn't get hit with any pucks. And I'm going to shoot pucks into the net at about 60%. Okay, what Ryan's going to do is Ryan's going to watch the puck come off my stick blade and as quickly as he possibly can. All he's going to do is call out the location. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for trajectory, so it's high, mid, low, and then location, whether it's blocker side or glove side. Also, when we do this drill, we're only thinking about calling out the location. We don't need Ryan moving his hands and simulating a save. So what I've seen a lot of guys on, on um, the internet doing during this time, this quarantine time, is throwing goalie pads on and doing butterflies in the driveway. Uh, I don't think that's a great idea. I don't think the carryover is going to help you. I think that might actually hurt your game more than it's going to help you. So we try to come up with some drills like this that are specific, but they're, you're not doing something that's going to kind of hurt your body movement and your patterns that you've developed over the years. Ready? Okay. Mid block. Mid Low level. High block. High block. High block. All right, guys, here's drill number two. We're going to continue with the theme of reading pucks off the stick blade. This one we're going to be doing further than six feet, of, six feet away from Ryan. So Ryan's got his gloves on like we do for all tracking drills. Uh, so we got these soft pucks, so they're squishy. I use these for teaching guys to block shots when I coach teams. So today we're going to use them with Ryan. We also got a screen stand here, so we're going to do some tracking around a screen. So this kind of works into our projection as well. So if you guys kind of followed us from the beginning, in episode one we kind of talked about projection, processing, and tracking. So this drill kind of encompasses a couple different focuses. So you guys can do this at home if you got a brother, your dad, your uncle, the mailman, find somebody to shoot some pucks at you, but make sure these are soft because I don't want to see you guys doing this in the driveway with your goalie equipment on. Uh, so what we're going to do is Brian's going to start with visual contact on the puck on the blocker side of the traffic. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to softly shoot a puck across the traffic to the glove side. He's going to catch it. Okay. Making sure here that he's doing a good job of reading that puck coming off my stick blade. Let's make sure you don't go toe up on that, all right? 